This video is sponsored by EA. In Firestorm, it's all about being the last man standing, whether that's playing solo or as a squad. The mode is built around team play and working together, so squatting up with your friends is definitely the best way to play. Squads of four can battle it out working different angles and using different weapons to work their way to victory, but if you want all the glory for yourself, then absolutely you can do that as well. To get yourself into squad matchmaking, head into the Firestorm tile in the multiplayer menu. If you want to play squads with your friends, first party up into a group of four, and then the party leader can hit the play squad mode button. However, if you want to play squads but none of your friends are available at that point, then you can hit the play squad mode button without a party, and the game will matchmake you into a random squad. If you want to play solo in a squads match, then you can click the skip button that appears after you click play squad mode, and it will matchmake you in alone into a squads match, if you fancy the challenge. When you're in-game, communication is obviously very important. If you're comfortable having VoIP enabled, I highly suggest you do that. However, you can still work together without voice comms as well. As a squad, when you're in the plane, deciding where to jump, use the pinning system on the map to suggest a location. Make sure to pick somewhere that's going to have plenty of loot to share amongst the four of you. As you drop out of the plane, maybe lay down a marker so the whole squad deploys at the same point. And don't forget to share resources like ammunition and healing surrettes with squad mates. That way you're all prepared for an early gunfight. Sometimes even sacrificing a second primary weapon to a squad mate makes the entire squad more powerful. Naturally, with four players, you're all going to want to do slightly different things. Some players like to move ahead of the group and be a spotter and look out for other players, and others like to stick together for protection. If you want to go somewhere, ping it on the map and see if the squad want to follow you. Now, objectives are a natural point to converge on in Battlefield games, and Firestorm is absolutely no different. As a squad, you stand a much better chance of capturing an objective and securing the loot than you would as a solo player. If you're all able to get into the capture area, securing the objective will happen much faster. It might be beneficial, however, to have a lookout, someone a little bit further away who can keep an eye out for enemy squads looking to come and spoil the party. Switching gears, however, to solo play, things are a little bit different and things change during a round of Firestorm. You can be much more decisive with your choice about where to drop, what loot to take and what to leave behind, and where you want to go as you keep yourself away from the Ring of Fire. Objectives are much harder to capture as a solo player as it takes a longer time, but the payoff could be massive as all the loot is for you and no one else. Vehicle lockups are also a higher risk because you need to open both doors fully to get the vehicle out. And with that siren going off, everyone's going to hear what you're doing. Also, vehicles are squad-based vehicles with distinct driving positions and weapon positions, so you'll need to get yourself familiar with seat switching to make the best of that Panzer IV that you just got your hands on. Both solos and squads in Firestorm offer great gameplay and similar pacing, but they give you the choice between working with others and sharing the spoils, or being a lone wolf, determined to take all the glory for yourself. Make sure you dive into Firestorm soon and give it a go. Thank you very much for watching today, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.